Hi, welcome back to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. At Rosenfeld Injury Lawyer, LLC, our personal injury lawyers are determined to hold responsible parties accountable for their negligence and can work on your behalf. Our firm will investigate and resolve your case and pursue the most advantages to your situation to ensure a positive outcome without any upfront cost. Contact Anilino Jones X Simon attorney or use the contact form to begin an attorney client relationship. Let's discuss your case and legal options to seek compensation. Like all our bodily harm cases, our Chicago Merchants Marine Act attorneys from Rosenfield Injury Lawyers LLC handle general maritime law cases on a contingency fee basis. There is no legal fee charge unless a client receives a financial recovery. What is the Jones Act of 1920? or the American Merchant Marine Act of 1920. Injuries among crew members and merchant mariners were so prevalent in the early 2000th century that Congress established the Jones Act officially titled the American Merchant Marine Act of 1920. The Merchant Marine Act is a special federal law passed to assist seamen seeking workers' compensation benefits for their work-related injuries through their maritime employers. Also, the general maritime legislation was initially intended to protect merchant mariners. The federal statute now typically covers a broad spectrum of injured seamen who work on ships and other vessels on navigable waterways, including seas, lakes, rivers, or channels. Most Jones Act cases originate from maritime accidents on the Mississippi River and Lake Michigan in Illinois. Merchant Marine Act lawsuits are typically resolved in the federal or state justice system and not in local courts. The Jones Act and what it covers. The Jones Act require owners of commercial watercraft to provide well-maintained and safe vessels for their workers. Every part of the vessels must be maintained and seaworthy, meaning that the boat or sea vessel is free from defects and is in proper working order. Workers whose work-related harm claims will likely pay benefits to an insured seaman under the Merchant Marine Act. The Jones Act applies to any injury in navigable waters involving merchant marines, harbor workers, seamen, boat officers, barge workers, tugboat workers, river workers, cooks, technicians, cargo ship workers, pilots, offshore platform workers. Maritime work is considered one of the most dangerous job categories, including commercial fishing and oil-rich work involving water travel. In 2018, two out of every hundred injured workers in the maritime industry claimed damages. Many of these seamen injuries were the result of employer negligence. The weather hazard while out on the water and at danger to often physically demanding jobs. Since United States seamen can be classified under several types of jobs, it is difficult to gauge the extent of physical and psychological injuries. 
and fatalities related to those who work abroad or with water vessels. Hazards in the maritime sector working in the marine sector can be hazardous. There are many potential dangers that workers can face, including falls from height. Workers in the marine sector often need to work on vessels raised and lowered by cranes, resulting in falls from height, leading to severe injuries. The next is working in confined spaces. Many vessels have limited space, creating several dangers for workers, including the risk of asphyxiation and being crushed. Exposure to hazardous materials Workers in the marine sector can be exposed to a range of dangerous materials, including oils and fuels, leading to skin irritations, respiratory problems, and other health issues. Working in extreme weather conditions Working in the marine sector often need to work outside in different weather conditions, including working in very hot or cold temperatures and exposure to high winds and waves. Lifting heavy objects. Workers in the marine sector often need to lift heavy objects, leading to strains and injuries requiring medical treatment. By understanding the potential hazards that workers in the marine sector can face, employers can take steps to mitigate the risk and create a safer working environment. Causes of Maritime Accidents The common causes of maritime crashes may include lack of regulation in the shipping industry. Another cause of maritime crashes is the lack of regulations in the shipping industry. There are no federal regulations governing the inspection of ships, so there is no guarantee that all ships are safe. Few penalties for shipping companies there are few penalties for shipping companies that violate safety regulations leading to unsafe conditions on board ships, which can cause maritime collisions. Human error is a leading cause of maritime crashes. Poor decision making, fatigue, and intoxication contribute to maritime accidents. With so many potential causes of maritime crashes, it is vital for everyone involved in the shipping industry to be aware of the risks and take steps to avoid them. Maritime accident statistics. According to the United States Coast Guard, between 2010 and 2020, there were 4,521 4, maritime crashes reported. Of those accidents, 3,046 resulted in fatalities. The most common types of accidents were vessel collision or about 31%, grounding 27%, and fire 14%. The Jones legislation passed in 1920 to protect seamen has successfully reduced the number of maritime crashes. The legislation requires that all vessels operating in U.S. waters be built in the United States and manned by U.S. crews. It also provides for strict liability in negligence cases, meaning an injured party does not need to prove that the vessel owner was of at fault to receive compensation. Injuries resulting from maritime accidents. Injuries resulting from maritime crashes can be severe and even life threatening. Maritime crash injury may include traumatic brain injuries, 
spinal cord injuries, amputation, burns, laceration. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.